Hey everybody, welcome back to another class here at Shaggy Doe Martial Arts. Uh, today we're going to be working on some katas uh, and some heavy bag work. So uh, make sure, if you got something like that, make sure it's around. Uh, if not, you can do this in the air, but it's going to be some uh, some getting up and moving around. So today we're going to start with our, our beginner katas. So we're going to do these um, two times each. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through the kata the first time, and then I'm going to go through the kata uh, with speed and power. Okay, and so what I want you to try to do is, uh, if you don't know the kata well, or so if you know it but not well, what I want you to do is follow through the best you can when I'm talking through it, and then watch how I do the, um, the speed and power. If you know the kata, what I want you to do is listen while you're doing the kata um, to when I'm explaining it, and then keep up with me when I'm doing it for speed and power. Okay, so I'm not going to go crazy fast, but I will put some oomph behind it just so that you guys can see what it looks like. And also so that um, when you guys are practicing at home, you know what kind of pace that you want to be keeping. All right, so we're going to start with Seisan Kata. So, Yasmin, Kyotsuke, Ray, Seisan, Hajime. So we're going to start chamber on my right, step left. Side block left, punch right. Step right, punch left, step left, punch right. Chamber in the middle, look to the corner, shuffle forward, and then double head block to the corner. Look over your left shoulder, turn all the way around, double shoot those. Circle step, right, a root block. Keep that hand nice and strong in your down block. Grab and pull. Circle step, a root block. Grab and pull. Last one, uh, root block, grab, pull. You're going to look to your left, Mizugami side. We're going to turn, side block, two punches, a front kick, and a punch. We're going to look to the right, towards the back. That guy's too far away, so I'm going to keep looking. This guy's close, so I turn, side block, two punches, a front kick, and a punch. This guy in the back is close, so I'm going to turn quick, side block, two punches, a front kick with my back foot and a punch with my right hand. I'm going to turn my right foot, bend both my knees into a horse stance, and break, pulling my back hand to my right hand to my hip. Look over my right shoulder, bring my feet together, my left to my right, and then my feet draw back in a way. I'm going to slide up from Subodachi so my feet are together. Head block, nose block. Draw back cat stance, right foot forward, stop. Step in crane stance, front kick, us. Down block, reverse punch left, turn your foot, bend your knees, reach underneath, and left hand goes to your hip. Look over your left shoulder, bring your feet together, draw back cat stance. We're gonna slide up, head block, back by your ear, nose block. Draw back cat stance, we're gonna stop, cross over crane, front kick left, down block, reverse punch, turn your foot, bend your knees, reach underneath, and break. Look over your right shoulder, bring your feet together, draw back cat. Step out Zen Coots, nice and deep. Head block, nose block. Step over to Seisan, down block, reverse punch left. Turn your left foot, bend your knees, reach underneath, and left hand goes to your hip, right hands up. I'm going to step straight back cat stance. So I'm left foot forward, open hand side block, shift to Seisan, us, front kick, reverse punch, draw back left, or, or I'm sorry, draw back with your right foot, so your left foot forward, catch, and break. So now if we're doing all together, we're going to do it with speed and power. So I'm not going to... Talk through this one, I'm just gonna do it. So when you're watching, just try to keep up. Okay? That's me. Kyosuke. Ready? Say so. Hajime.
So now we're going to do the same thing with same chin. Okay, so we're going to do same chin. Uh, I'm going to talk you through the whole thing. And then we're going to do that where you try to stay with me and we do it for power. Ready? That's me. So it's okay. Ready? Same chin. Hajj. So we look to the left. Step out horse stance right foot forward. Block up in front of our chest. Two hands. Look forward. Block two down blocks. Reach out with your right hand. Grab, pull, and stab. Bring that back to your hip, not anywhere else. Okay? Comes right back to your hip. Look to the other side. Step in left foot. <coughs> block up two hands. Look to the front. Close your fist. Block down two hands. We're going to use our front hand, our left hand, our roots block. Grab. Comes back to our hip as I pull and stab. One more time. Step in horse stance. Block up two hands in front of our chest. Look to the front. Cross them. Block down. Reach out. Our roots block. Grab. Pull and stab. Draw that cat stance. Hammer fist. Step over to a Saison stance. Right foot forward. Reinforce punch. I'm going to hold my left hand up as a target. Somewhere around my chin. As I shuffle forward. Elbow uppercut. When I do that, make sure your hand is turned sideways. So you don't punch yourself in the face on accident. I'm going to look to the front right corner. I'm going to step stay on right foot forward. Reinforce side block. Step in with my left foot horse stance to a down block. Step back with my left foot to a horse stance. Down. I'm going to look to the front left. Step with my left foot to stay on stance. Side, uh, reinforce side block. Remember, it's just a regular side block. My hand's on top. Step in. Down block. Step back and away. Down block. I'm going to step straight back. Piece move one. Step straight back. Piece move two. Step in, circle step. So I'm right foot forward, hit my fist. I'm going to shuffle uppercut. I'll look over my left shoulder. Turn my left foot. Turn all the way around. Double block. So my left hand's in a side block. My right hand's in a down block. Stomp with my left foot. Uppercut. Nose block. Bring it back by my shoulder. Down block. Step back with my left, down. I'm gonna look back to the front left corner. Step with my right foot to the left foot forward, say sign. So my feet come together and then I step back and away. Double. I'm gonna stomp with my right, bus, uppercut, bring it around, nose block, back by my shoulder, down block. Step straight back, down block. I'm gonna come straight back this way, break the bear hug. Break the bear hug. I'm going to punch straight down. Us. Catch. Circle step forward to right foot forward. Say sign. Head block. Nose block. Draw back. Right foot forward. Cat stance. My hands come around. My elbows come together. And I break to push them apart. Alright, so let's do that together. A little bit faster with some speed and power. That's me. So it's Kate. Right. Same chin. Hajj. So I'm going to look. And go. Ship. So the next one we're going to do 
is Naihanchi. Nice and easy. So, we step out. You guys ready? Kyotsuke. Ready? Naihanchi. Hashi. So, we're going to squat. Look to left. Step across. Step out. Our root squat. Elbow chain. Look. Avoid sweep. Set in your good Naihanchi stance. Down block. Stab. Bring your hand back to your hip. Step across. 45 degree blade kick. And then set. Lock in your Naihanchi stance. Block your face. Open hand palm. Left hand hammer fist down to block your groin. Right hand elbow uppercut. And nose top. I'm going to look to the right. I'm going to avoid the sweep right. Side block. I'm going to look to the left. Avoid the sweep left. Setting that good Naihanchi stance. Hammer fist across. Look to the right. Avoid the sweep right. Chamber. Double punch. Our roots block. Elbow chamber. Look. Avoid the sweep. Down block. Stay. I'm going to step across and kick. Set. Go to lock into that stance. This one I'm going to be in for a minute, so it's really important that I'm in this one good. Block my face with my right hand. Close. Block my groin. I'll block a cut left. Nose button. Look to left. Avoid the sweep. Good stance. Side block. Look to the right. Avoid the sweep. Good stance. Hammer fist. Look to left. Avoid the sweep. This one's the most important. Get good stance. Us Double punch. All right. I want to make sure that every time I pick my foot up and I put it back down, I'm in a good Naihanshi stance. I lock my hips underneath uh, my body, right? I'm trying to straighten my tailbone out and kind of like hook it under my, my, uh, my body. I'm, I'm sucking my butt up under my hips, okay? So when I'm doing this, you can see I avoid the sweep and I lock back in. I avoid the sweep and I lock back in, right? You can see my hips rolling forward, right? Like my butt's trying to roll under my my uh, chest, okay? So when you're doing your Naihanshi stance, make sure that every time you avoid the sweep, you set back down in that stance and you lock into it, all right? We're gonna do it for speed and power. That's me, Kyotsuke, right? Naihanshi, Hashi. So we got one last cut we're gonna to do today, and that is one suit. Okay, so same thing. I'm gonna walk you through it, and we'll do it with speed and power. So one suit. Yes, me. Kyotsuke. Ready? One suit. Hajime. So I'm gonna step out into Naihanchi stance, and I roll my fist over, so it's kind of hiding behind my other hand. I'm gonna to look to left. Down block left. Punch right. I look to the front chamber on my left side or my right side here. So when I step left, it's the same exact hands. So now I'm just going to the front. Down block left, punch right. Circle step, opening in side block, push and stab, grab, step, pull behind, and punch. Same thing to the back. So I'm going to shift, circle step, down block left, punch right, circle step right. Open hand side block left across my body. Push block across my face as I stab to the solar plex. Grab, step behind the left, pull and punch. I'm gonna look, shift, circle step. Open hand head block, fake uppercut. Push. Front kick real quick, double block. Chamber on your hip, step in, grab, look and throw. I'm gonna look to left. Turn, keep looking, turn. Open hand, side block, grab, knee smash, punch. Look to the front, turn. Look to the side, turn. Open hand, 
uh, side block, right, knee smash, punch. I'm gonna turn my foot so they come up together in the super dash. So I step out right, punch left straight, punch right off to the side in the same spot, come up to my right foot. I'm gonna step out left, punch straight ahead from where I was, punch off to the side from where I was. Okay, so my the spot's the same, right, but my chest is turned, so it's straight and off to the side. Come up, high dodge. Look to the left, side kick left, look to the right, side kick right, step, and come on, guard. All right, I'm gonna step in right foot, face on stance, low elbow. Look, draw back cat stance, front kick. Look, draw back cat stance, right foot forward, front kick. Set out face on stance, right foot forward, double shooters, us. Side block and ready to go with my new kite, but I let him go. All right, so this kind of has a very uh, specific pace to it. Goes one, two, pause, one, two, pause, one, two, pause. Okay, you'll see that through the whole cop. All right, so when I do this, what I want you to try to do is think about that one, two, pause. All right, it's like a waltz, but not as many numbers. Not so much counting. Let's do it. Yes, me? Let's get right. One, two, hush. I apologize, I missed the first key I, um, but I showed you where it was, so. Um, so that's one, two. So when you're doing katas, katas, I would say they don't change, but they do a little bit. So for the most part, like the general techniques of the katas don't change. It's been the same since I learned it 20 years ago, uh, since uh, my teachers learned it 30 years ago, since their teachers learned it 40 years ago, you know, it's been, it's that kind of a thing. So the katas themselves don't change like the technique, the, what the technique is. A punch is a punch, a kick is a kick or whatever, so whatever. Sometimes what changes a little bit is the interpretation of the techniques, especially if you get like up there in the black belt, you're trying to like nitpick everything and everybody's got their own great ideas. I, I'm not exempt from this, but I try to keep um, them separated out so you know that this is my idea and this is how it was taught. But, um, you know, the, the cool thing about these katas is that the self-defense that's taught within them can be translated a dozen different ways. You can have more than one bankai for each set of techniques. There's the official one, and then there's the 10,000 other ones that you can come up with for the same, you know, hand, broad hand motions. You can come up with like 15 or 16 different techniques that you're actually doing with that. And that's because, you know, no two fights are the same. And that's kind of um, teaching you as a student to dig into your katas to go pull out the rest of the karate. Remember when katas were originally taught, you would know like one or two total. And you would spend like your whole karate career studying just those katas because there's an entire fighting system uh, buried in that just the kata, okay? Um, obviously, World War II and uh, the Okinawans largely being afraid of losing um, their heritage uh, is why we do more than two katas now, okay? But that just means that you have more material to go dig through, all right? It's literally a lifetime worth, it was a lifetime before when there was only two. So it's an, an entire lifetime's worth of karate buried in the 12 empty hand katas, uh, I'm sorry, 12 katas that you learned before black belt, and then you learn uh, four or five more that are just an issue. And there's another 150 
easy. They come from Okinawa. Okay. And plus all the different iterations, you know, the four different versions of Chinto and the three different versions of Naihanshi and all that stuff. So, um, one of the things, this is my going to be my challenge for you, uh, is try to do a kata backwards. There's two reasons for this. The first one is it forces you to really think about doing the kata. If I start Seisan with this here, right? How do I go back? So you start walking back through the kata, starting with the last move first, and you end, you know, in Seisan, you would end with the side block. So we punch side. So part of that is forcing you to really know your cops. The second part of that is uh, forcing you to think about how the bunkai changes when you do your kata backwards. Um, for instance, just that last move, punch then side block, right? So now you're ending the kata with a block and you're starting the kata with breaking somebody's foot, okay? Um, so my challenge to all of you is to try to do one kata at least backwards at some point today, okay? So whether that's Seisan, because that's the only one you know, or you know all of them and you want to try a challenge, you want to try doing Kusanku, good. If you got it, if like, it's like doing the ABCs. If you got to count all the way through the ABCs to figure out what letter comes before U or T or S or R or Q or whatever, then do it. That's gonna help you know it better, okay? That's gonna help you be able to pick it up in the middle and then go to the end of the kata, no problem. It's gonna help you be able to, um, and give you something to practice. My intention is that doing the kata backwards should take you probably 20 minutes, okay? Uh, it's gonna take you a little while to figure it out. And if it takes you less than that, awesome. That means you know your kata really well, all right? But. That is my challenge for you guys today. So try to go out and do that. Do a kata backwards, whatever kata you want. Uh, drop me uh, a text or a video or whatever to show me you were doing it because that's awesome. I love seeing that stuff. Honestly, I, you know, I tell you guys this all the time, but when I'm making these videos, I'm basically teaching my phone how to do karate. That kind of sucks. So anytime that you guys are around, especially like the Zoom classes or whatever, where you guys are like, oh, I did this and these are the things that I was working on, that's awesome. I love that stuff because um, when we when I teach in person classes, that's the stuff I really enjoy. All right, is being able to see you guys and see you guys grow. Right now, uh, my phone's not growing any. So if you guys want to send me that stuff, I really appreciate that. Um, but that is going to be our kata portion of the day. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to our heavy bag drill. So uh, give me just a minute. We'll come back and uh, we'll get that done. All right, everybody, so welcome back. So what we're gonna do next is a heavy bag drill. Uh, I've got my uh, my HIIT timer uh, ready to go. If you guys want, you can use this video as your timer. Um, what it's gonna be is five one minute sets. We're gonna be doing this. If you're a kid, uh, just go through it once, it's fine. If you're an adult, uh, you're gonna wanna repeat this uh, three times, okay? So I'm gonna go with, through it with you. Um, basically, this is how it's going to be, uh, work. It's going to be a minute of front kicks, a minute of side kicks, a minute of roundhouse kicks, a minute of hook kicks, and then a minute of holding in your horse stance. Okay. So when we're doing this, what I want you guys to do is focus on having good form. Uh, and you know, if you have the ability, if you're not kick, if you're kicking in the air, then kick in the air. Uh, you know, if you don't have a heavy bag, I'd rather you do this than not. Um, but if you have a heavy bag or somebody holding a bag for you and you're kicking it, uh, put some power into it. Put as much power as your partner can handle, okay? If that's all of your power, then perfect. If it's not, then work to what your partner can handle and go from there, okay? So uh, I want you to try to, I want you to definitely get a workout from this. You should be sweating a little bit. All right, so what this is gonna be is we got, I got it set up on this to be one minute of workout, 15 seconds of rest. We got five rounds. It's gonna take us a little over six minutes and it's gonna be nice and loud hopefully so you guys can hear it too. So the first one is front kicks. Switch it up so you're not just doing one kick or one type of kick. Keep them all front kicks but if I wanna do two in a row 
or two of the same foot. And I want to be putting some power in this. Make sure you're keeping it balanced with both legs. Halfway there. Strong, keep it strong, keep it strong. Three, two, one. Good job. I think my timer shut off in the middle there. That wasn't very nice. So we'll take one round off of that. Get your rest in. Next one's gonna be side kicks. So remember, both sides if you wanna be even. And try both, getting them the good side kicks and also getting that double kick. I can't tell you how many points I've gotten in sparring from being ready for that second kick. in there too. Alright, halfway done, halfway done. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep going, eight seconds. Keep it strong, add a key out here too. The next one's gonna be roundhouse kicks, okay? So get your legs ready, all shook out. And let's do it, roundhouse kicks. Go, roundhouse kicks. You can do low, high. You can do the same spot. You can do high, low. Make sure you're doing it with both legs. You can do jump roundhouse kicks if you feel like it. Or three, just to get that third one in there. A little bit of extra motion, just for the sake of it. If you're uh, getting ready for competition, where you got contact fighting, keep your bag a little low, kick at the shin level. Quarters there. 45 seconds down. Keep it up. Keep it strong. Keep your hands up in a guard in front of you. Alright, good job. The next one's going to be hook kicks. So remember, you're hitting with your heel on a hook kick, not the side of your foot. Alright, here we go. And go. Hook kick. Hook kicks. Spin hook kicks. You can do two in a row. You can do three in a row. Right? Just keep them going. You can go over your bag. If your stretch is there. Keep up those kicks, keep your guard up. 20 seconds left. Stay strong, stay strong. Keep those kicks powerful. I'd rather have a few strong, good kicks than a bunch of weak, terrible ones. Good job. All right, last one, horse stance. Get ready for it, shake your legs out. Ready, three, two, one. All right, so we're in a good horse stance. From here, we can throw a couple punches, nice and slow. 
Just keep our minds off our legs. All right, we can do cherry pickers. Those are always fun. You feel that in your forearms pretty quick. I like doing punch, side block, punch, side block. If I'm doing a, com if I'm doing a combination, this is one of the ones I like sitting, or I do it like in uh, Sue and Sue, where it's a break the grab in the middle. Like somebody's grabbing my wrist, I roll it off, and I'm still doing the side block. Fifteen seconds left. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Don't cheat. Come on, guys. I know you can do it. I know you got it in you. Go back to just punches. Five seconds. Five seconds. Keep them strong. And relax. All right. So. As I said before, kids, you're all set. All right. Adults, try to do this a couple more times. You should feel it in your legs a little bit, right? But remember, you don't have me to work with. I can't be there in front of you. I can't just force you to do it, all right? I can tell you guys to do it, and all I know is that when we come back, I'm gonna work as hard as I can to make sure that you don't miss out on it, right? But you guys, your job now during this is to train as hard as you can, okay? Um, you know, so that you're ready to go for whatever goal you have in mind next, whether it's your next belt, whether it's doing well in a tournament, whether it's going to a tournament or whatever. Maybe it's just beating me. If it is beating me, good. I hope you do it someday. I'm not going to make it easy. All right. Because my job is to keep uh, improving too. So, uh, yeah, good luck. So, uh, make sure you guys are doing that. And that brings us to the end of our class today. So for announcements. Our Zoom classes, uh, we're still doing those Fridays. Uh, we're going to have our kids class from 5 to 5.40, adult class from 5.50 to 6.30. This month, we've got a couple special things going on through Zoom, okay? Zoom's making it a little easier for us to spread out and to, to do stuff in, in tandem with our other um, OIKKA brother and sister schools in the area. Uh, we've got two guest instructors coming to our Zoom class, Sensei Bill from Aranaquay Martial Arts is coming on uh, this Friday, May 8th, to do a Zoom class. That's gonna be, he's gonna be there for the regular classes, and then he's also gonna run a little seminar after the adult class. So from 6.30 to 7, he's gonna be running a uh, seminar of his own uh, creation, which would be pretty fun. Um, also, Sensei Scott from SNS has invited us out to his uh, Zoom classes. So if you guys are interested in doing that just for something a little bit different, uh, I'll be honest, I went to one yesterday with him. Uh, it's the first one that I made it to. It was a lot of fun. Uh, he, he keeps it fun. Uh, we did basics from a chair. So uh, he tries to keep it different, you know, as much as like I am. Um, he's got a little bit of different ideas. He's got a little bit of a different background. So some of his stuff is really cool. Um, and I suggest that if you guys have the opportunity to do those, uh, that you jump into them. He was running a classes for adults on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays at seven o'clock. Okay, and they run for about 40 minutes to an hour. Um, so, you know, that's that's a great thing. So um, also this month or this week, pay attention because there's gonna be a new Zoom class link. Um, we've, got an, uh, we've got our upgraded account finally so that we can uh, go longer than 40 minutes without having to log out and log back in. So we got that all set up and squared away and all that stuff. So be watching out for that. Last thing for this week uh, is we're doing the Avatar Challenge workout. Um, so the Avatar Challenge, I've been putting in the description for each of these videos on Dojo Expert. Um, I've been doing this challenge. Today is the fifth. I've been doing it every day so far. Yesterday's was nice because it was uh, stretchy stretches. Uh, trying to get us, you know, limbered back up before today looks like it's going to be a butt whooping for a speed workout. Okay, so uh, if you guys are looking for something to kind of get you motivated, get back into it, join in with us. Uh, I'm putting my uh, progress things up on Facebook a couple times a week. Um, I should be doing that today if you see it out there. So keep an eye out for it. Um, and 
you know, just as we're going, it's kind of like being able to be a community again, do these workouts together. So if you know that everybody else is doing these workouts, you have to get these workouts done. If you're telling yourself that, sometimes it's just the motivation you need to, to you know, kick you in the pants to get it done. So uh, I encourage you guys to do that with me. It's mostly karate based. There's no equipment necessary. It's all just um, body weight exercises and combos. I've been doing some of the combos on the heavy bag because I have one. If you don't have the, uh, if you can't do the combos, then do them in the air. You know, it's that simple. With that, that's all I've got. You guys are awesome as always. All right. And with that, I got nothing. You guys are dismissed. Us.